Well, I just had the opportunity to drive the ZDX and the car is awesome and the stereo system is pretty intense. If Elliot can make me sound as good as what I heard today, it's going to be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> enough about a kid like this. I mean, this guy's really, you know, a traditional soul singer, and he's young. Uh, I heard his record, and I couldn't believe how good he was, you know. I was hoping when I'd come in today that it would be exactly what I was hoping for, and it was. You know, the band was great, but the most amazing thing was the way this guy sings. I mean, everybody who was in here today was completely awestruck by this guy. I mean, he's one of the best singers I've heard in decades. can you go like that? Not much longer. I don't think so. <laughs> Let me know if you need a break or something. Uh, this is Jackson Brown's studio and uh, one of my favorite places and one of my favorite studios in, in the country, maybe in the world. You know, I only have a handful letter that I consider really great and this is one of them. You look in the control room and you see the equipment that's in there. It's like stuff I grew up with in essence. But there's only a handful of really, really great rooms where the people that run the joint really take care of the equipment that's here and it's all you can see. I mean we had no problems today, you know. Everything here is handled with love and you know the equipment's kept in perfect condition, you know, and it's pretty obvious and it's obvious in the sound. Ooh, girl, ooh, girl. Last on your line, but the waiting feeling's fine. Oh, yeah, so don't treat me like a puppet on a string, no, because I know how to do my thing. <clears throat> Ooh, girl. There's an old guy in this body. I keep saying it to everybody that walks in Jackson Brown walks in the room. I said, "There's an old guy in this body." You know, this guy. I mean, when when I heard his record for the first time, I went crazy. You know, it was like, you know, this is stylistically what I grew up listening to. You know, and and it, it's unbelievable to hear somebody who's taken so much love in doing what he does. You know, and it's like mind-blowing to hear this guy sing. Yeah, I think the, the thing about soul singing is that the operative word is soul, and which I, I think is missing a lot in music nowadays, and in singers in general, is that there's no connection to what they're singing. It's like a, it's a great detachment from, from, what, from the lyric and from who the person is. And I think for me, you know, being raised in the church and everything that I, singing always for me has been about a greater connection. So initially growing up was to God, and, and I believe that music has the ability to shape life. You know what I mean? I mean, I remember great moments in my life, and there was a song that accompanied it. I remember a dark moment in my life, and there was a song that accompanied that. Mama said, Mama said, Mama said now. Mama said, Mama said, Mama said now. She said, boy, get a real job, boy. 
said, mama said, mama said, now that's what mama told me. pretty apparent that the, these four guys are together a lot. Like in that first take, yeah. And when he sang, it was like they'd done this, you know. They've been living together. I was thinking maybe trying a warmer mic. Is, it, is it, I mean, is that normally as bright as you are, or? Uh, I'm pretty bright, because I what have, you, what have What have you used in the past? Well, I used to record him, everything from a cheap Chinese knockoff of a 87 to a Manly 2. To on this new album, we were using a fifty-eight. Yeah. Believe it or not. Yeah. No, okay. Um, let's try. So, let's just try something a little warmer. I mean, you got some gizmos here yeah. that I don't have. Yeah. So. You don't have a Fairchild. I have a picture <laughs> one in my computer. <laughs> <laughs> well, my first um, conscious exposure to LA, I would say, would definitely be um, this morning in the uh, ZDX, and then realizing, you know you know, that I've been exposed to him without knowing it through the many albums and Grammys and all that craziness, which is an awesome pleasure to be working with him today. But um, I'm, a, I'm a big person on um, people's spirit and how they are inside, not just their ability. So the fact that he's like uber talented um, sort of actually pales in the fact that he's also a really great guy, just genuine from the heart and speaks his mind. And so it's been a really, you know, great experience for me. Thanks, man. Perfect take, guys. This is it. Tapes are rolling. We're rolling.